beautiful people on the internet. Let's talk. Right now my life has been very in my room. I am in college from home, not going anywhere besides church and seeing family. I just saw the board and I have nothing to say. But at the same time, I'm having a lot of ideas of interesting possibilities. I thought about starting a blog, opening the sort of non-profit, and then making more YouTube videos. However, today I'm going to talk about what I did last year because I have been recognized by the state's provider resource association for providing individuals with disabilities in a group home Christmas gifts and just helping them have a fun holiday season. This is a story about the t-shirt project. Last year at the end of September I was sitting in a class and someone, another student, turned up and asked me how long I have left on the earth and I found that extremely offensive considering that most people with cerebral palsy live into the 70s and 80s. So I went home and I didn't really think about it. I got comments like that all the time and realized that people really had no idea what it even meant to have a disability because I come from a small town and there's only one of me. So I got an idea and designed this shot and I took it to a local shop maker shop and he gave me prices and ideas about how much this will cost me to do. And then I had another problem. What do I do with the money? And most people my age getting ready to go to college will be like, hey, keep the money you will need it next year. But I thought outside of the box and thought I want to donated somewhere to a place that helped me. So after we searching I found this group home and it is a phenomenal place. They have summer camps and they do a lot more for the community I live in and the founder also has cerebral palsy and he is a very fun guy to talk to and I kind of hope you are seeing this right now but anyways I put an ad up on Facebook with a three week 
time span and I was planning on putting it in the church bulletin and at school and other places. And within three days, I told like 50 t-shirts and I thought that was a bit much. So I decided not to post it anywhere else. I ended up selling over 120 shirts and raising over $1,300. So I had a lot of money to play with. I got more information and bought the, everyone in the group home a winter set of a scarf, a hat, and some candy. I also donated to some individuals in the community who were struggling throughout the holidays and the Ronald McDonald house that helped my parents tremendously when I was little. So I won Volunteer of the Year Award for Ohio Provider Resource Association and I think it is impactful how much something so little can make on a community. I just wanted to do this to share a little bit more holiday chill last year for a community who needed it. I wasn't planning on getting avoided anything. In fact, I didn't post any thing on YouTube I make the results very public because I wanted this to be anonymous I wanted just to show people that you don't need to have everything you did printed on the front page of the newspaper but the newspaper likes me, so I got interviewed for it the other day, and yeah, we'll be in next week. All right, I sat here and thought for like two minutes and came up with no solid ending. So as my old pre-calc, teacher said, have a day. Sorry. Why am I apologizing to myself? College, living the dream. <laughs> I can't think, oh my goodness.